Hello, welcome to sql02pro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to install Oracle Express. Topics include what is Oracle Express, why install Oracle Express, system requirements, installation process, and how to start and stop Oracle services. First of all, what is Oracle Express? It's a free database from Oracle Corporation, and the software includes both the database and the front end query tool. The query tool uh, is used to send statements and programs to the database so the database can uh, send the result back and the same query tool will display you the result uh, sent back by the database okay now why install Oracle Express so that you can practice and learn SQL and PLSQL okay the main difference between Oracle Express and the main Oracle database is uh, that Oracle Express can use limited resources on computer limited uh, memory and CPU resources so it can't be used for production purposes but it's a perfect software to practice and learn SQL and PLSQL. System requirements, I'm only going to show you uh, the installation process for Windows but you can also install it on Linux. So on Windows you need 32-bit uh, Windows operating system, uh, any flavor would do, XP, 2003 Server, 2000 and Vista. Of course you can also install it on 64-bit uh, operating system but uh, the software is only going to be using 32-bit uh, uh, technology. Okay, so. Uh, 2 GB hard disk space is required and half gig RAM is recommended but you can also run the same software on 256 megabyte of RAM. Now installation process mainly includes three stages download, install and creating the user. Okay, It's a pretty straightforward process. You visit oracle.com website www.oracle.com and on the website uh, look for this link view all downloads okay so my presentation is based on still pictures uh, because if I sh make a video of the whole installation process it might take a long time to watch the video so you can take advantage of the still pictures so, and you can uh, do those steps uh, actually on your computer the still picture is enough to guide you uh, to, uh, on what to do to install uh, Oracle on your computer okay uh, this will save you a lot of time so look for this view all download link it will be somewhere on the top right section websites keep on changing once you click on that link you will see another page and look for the section called browse by category under this section look for Oracle 10G Express Edition you might want to install some uh, latest uh, version of 10G if, if, if available right now the latest version of Oracle database is 11G but only 10G is available in Express Edition you are you need this uh, what you need is Express Edition not the regular edition okay so you click on 10G Express Edition and you're gonna s uh, see more options for the operating system so I'm gonna show you how to install Oracle for Microsoft Windows so you click on this uh, Express Edition for Microsoft Windows link. Once you do that, uh, page will appear asking you to accept or decline the license agreement. You can read the license agreement by clicking on this link here for the agreement and uh, you can accept it by clicking on this radio button. Once you do that, the same page would change giving you a list of options for downloading Oracle Express. We are interested in first option, okay, Oracle XE.exe. This, this is a complete software with both database and the front end query tool in, in English language. That's what we want. You click uh, there and then Oracle will ask you to sign into uh, this uh, OTN page, okay, so technology network. If you don't have an account, then you can create an account by clicking on sign up now option otherwise you can simply sign in so I'm gonna assume you don't have an account so you're cl clicking on the sign up now option and you're gonna see another page and look for this link create your Oracle account now okay and click on this link and uh, Oracle will ask you to enter email address and password you do that and also confirm your password and click on click on confirm button now you will see a page, uh, basically a form asking you uh, for your information. Enter all the required field fields at least. And uh, at the bottom of the page, uh, you can sh opt in for magazines, but I would basically opt out of Oracle communication. You, I would basically check off this box, opt out, and click on confirm button. Once you do that, you're going to see another page asking you to verify that you want to unsubscribe. Although you have not really subscribed for anything, but either you have to subscribe or unsubscribe right in order to create an account so we are basically unsubscribing so you click on click on submit button here and the one more confirmation you are unsubscribed from Oracle electronic communication so we are fine with that click on confirm button now your account is open and this download will start now this is the Firefox image but uh, you would see uh, some kind of a download uh, box on your 
operate uh, on your browser whatever browser you're using so I'm gonna just gonna click save file the file will keep uh, starts uh, uh, downloading and this is what I would see if I'm using uh, download manager but you can see some uh, different uh, image anyway once the fi file is downloaded you can launch the file by whatever means uh, maybe you want to go to my computer and navigate to the folder double click on the file or just you would see a button for launching the file or running the file just click on that and the file will uh, the, the installation uh, wizard would start preparing uh, the installation software couple of screen uh, you're gonna see uh, for preparing for installation and once that is done the installation wizard will start the first page would be a welcome page click on, on next button here and uh, then you just read the agreement and click uh, and click on this ex I accept the terms link once you do that the next button would be enabled click on uh, click on next button and once you do that Oracle will show you the destination for the, uh, for the database this is the destination where Oracle database will go you can change it if you like otherwise just accept the default then click on next button here now enter a password and confirm it this is very important password this would be a password for your system account this is an admin account for Oracle database make sure you remember this password okay so once you enter and confirm the password the next button would appear just click on uh, on next button and you would see a summary of whatever options you have selected read the summary and click on install button here the solution will start you'll see a couple of pages maybe it's going to take about 10 minutes and once the installation is done you're going to see this page uh, and uh, click on finish button make sure to launch the database home page is selected once you do that